Today I want to show you this um, pseudo rat etra video synthesizer effect. Um, as the name says, it's not the, the real one. You could make this with GSLL in um, Touch Design. There's also a tutorial I can link to you. But I think this one also looks like amazing since you can separate the lines um, and make like mesmerizing graphics with it. It was, uh, I um, was inspired by Daniel Marlefeld to do this. I'm going to link him in the description as well. Thanks a lot. And yeah, let's jump right into it. That is the network, which I'm going to delete and start from scratch. So first up, let's create a constant for our rows and our calls. Um, let's say 50 rows and 360 columns. It needs to be pretty high res. So we can display symbols without them artifacting. So next up, we'll need an actual grid, which we're going to displace with a top. Set it to polygon and connectivity rows. All right, our top is going to be down here. <coughs> and let's just make a text. Set it to I. And the rest we can figure out afterwards. So how do we, how do we take this one and uh, manipulate it with the grid? We can't directly go to from tops to jobs, uh, two subs. Already giving away the answer here, but we can uh, translate it via jobs. That is what we're going to do. So um, basically, we'll build a network where we meet those two in the middle. First off, let's create a null to reference later and a job two where we make this basically go in there. Then once again, a null and set up the usual geometry render setup. And the camera. And right about now we should see at least something. 1080, 1080, and set it to display. Yeah, there are lines which are pretty unremarkable right now, but get will get mesmerizing in a matter of a few minutes. All right, next up, we'll need a fit. And now these reference References are going to get relevant. We have to connect this one to rows and this one to columns. Similar to the fit resolution, um, rows are going to be the resolution width and the columns the resolution height. Oh no, the other way around. And also pretty important, we'll need to fill instead of fit so we can squetch, uh, squetch, squeeze, squeeze <laughs> or, uh, or stretch our, um, our letter. Great. Maybe next up let's set this one up to go to chop with top two, we only need one channel. And now what's wrong there? Okay, what the hell? And um, right now it only took one row of pixels, but we need the entire image. And 
since these are a lot of channels and we only need one, we're going to shuffle them by the method sequence all channels. All right, next up, we're going to translate the null into, um, into jobs, channel operators. And we only want to displace the z axis or z axis. So we'll select uh, tc here. Oh, no, 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 no. tc here and ty and tx up here. All right. Next up, we'll put in a math and plug this one in here and combine jobs to add. After that, let's merge it back together and make sure it's the right direction. Great. Then fit a, give it a null. And right about now, we should see something. It's very small in here, so I'm going to maybe zoom in a little bit. Let's say two, but it's still pretty small because the eye is pretty small. So let's size it up. Make maybe 150, yeah. Now we can see it. And right now it's like pretty unremarkable. However, if we add a constant as a background, not a composition, a constant. Let's give it a, I don't know, I feel red. Let's give it a red and under. <laughs> um, all right, it's still like not that good looking. Let's maybe change the material to, um, to a line. Yeah, we want a line. Uh, did not take it. Yes, now I took it. Great. Um, camera, we want to change to orthographic. Now we don't see anything, but uh, if we change it to like one and it's a bit of playing around, but I figured these are some good, good, um, good numbers to, to sort of create an illusion of never ending lines and hopefully they work. Yeah. You could also create maybe a uh, bit of a longer, longer grid and we'll change it afterwards. So now it still looks like pretty boring. Um, let's change that by adding a translate. Oh no, transform, not translate <laughs> to um, to a text, apps time dot seconds um, times 10. And now we see there's some movement going on and it's it's just too big. It's, uh, it's too big. Let's, uh, this displacement, let's size down with a nav. And now there's an more seeable, so we can actually see it. Then let's change the fall off in here with a blur. How did it get there? And um, now, of course, we have to also add a bit more of the math. And yeah, yeah, now we can see there is a 
bit of an artifact thing going on that we don't really like. We can fix this by changing the input to 32 gigabytes. Now we should only have smooth lines. Let's maybe also change this to, to 180, 180 and size up the, the actual letter. Yeah, this has a nicer look to it. I don't know, that's, that's too big. Let's keep it at 500. Let's keep it at 500 and um, maybe scale, I don't know, maybe translate it down a little bit so we can isolate it better afterwards. It's like 15, yeah. All right, next up, we can change the width near and maybe it's color to to something like like 0.5. All right, that's the the next pretty important part is creating a second color. And um, let's make it just red. I feel red right now and nothing is happening. Oh yeah, now it's happening. Great, the problem we have right now is that this has the same size, but since the background is already red, we want this to have like um, um, a smaller size. And now we already can see another artifact, the C fighting. However, we can change that with um, with just lifting up the line a little bit. All right, maybe just get a good framing on the camera. Um, you can zoom in here and uh, viewer, if you drag down both fingers. <laughs> if you use, I think, with, with mouse, I usually use my trackpad, so I don't yeah, if you uh, hold middle mouse down and uh, move up and down with the mouse, you can also do it. Um, all right, then, I mean, that's about it. Um, I can, there are still a lot of possibilities um, to, to change it up a bit. For instance, you could use more rows then you get a more detailed look or um, maybe I should put it down because I'm also screen recording right now. And yeah, you could also manipulate this in some ways um, by adding a switch. And creating different um, letters, sort of like, let's say a P is nice. We also want to have an N and we want to have a A. Let's go with an A. All right, then keyboard in, a counter, that we, we limit to uh, three in this case, since zero is our first index. And also add a filter and a null. And let's reference this null in here. Now if I had one, on the keyboard, nothing happens because I forgot to put on blend between inputs. But now we have some nice looking transitions. And I mean, the, the options are limitless with this effect. Um, you can also like uh, use, use this webcam that I have right now as a as an input 
Um, I mean, you you should in this case set up your own, but I can bring it in like this and change change this for. And now we have a very cursed looking version of myself. <laughs> Maybe also bring up the um, the math we have in here. Yeah, but as you can see, this is um, this is only eight bit input, so it also is going to artifact a little bit. Maybe if we bring in a noise, uh, we can remedy and uh, not like that noise. And we can exchange this and make the noise go into the C direction with apps time dot seconds times 0.2 and exchange. And also, pretty important, make it RGB. And yeah, maybe in this instance, I think it's all right to scale it down a little bit. Or maybe not, maybe it's Yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. You just have to play around with basically these parameters, these parameters, the math in here, and the way you want to have it, uh, <laughs> and the way you want to have it uh, blurred. I think you can unlock a lot of stuff with these few parameters. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked it. Uh, thanks a lot for for watching and. Thank you so much for the, the nice comments and, and likes I got on the last video. I, was, uh, I wasn't expecting anybody <laughs> would watch it, so it was like a really uh, therapeutic experience for me. And yeah, thanks a lot. And I hope I can uh, crank up the, the, uh, the tutorials. Also, the, um, this file uh, which you saw in the, the beginning, I'm going to upload it on my patreon and i hope you check it out and yeah i think that's about it have a nice day <laughs>